National parks in Arizona attract millions of visitors a year, making them vital to the state's economy. But all those visitors mean wear and tear on the parks, wear and tear that carries a big bill. Who pays was the question of a Senate hearing yesterday, as Julian Barras reports from our Washington bureau. The Grand Canyon is a spectacle in its own right, an enormous landscape that attracts millions of visitors every year. But the canyon has a $314 million problem. That's the cost of repairs the park needs. Liz Archuleta thinks the canyon, what she calls the crown jewel of national parks, deserves better. I feel like our delegation from Arizona knows the issue very well in terms of deferred maintenance of parks and Grand Canyon National Park being the crown jewel of parks. They're very familiar with what the needs are. Those needs are just part of the $507 million in deferred maintenance at national parks in Arizona, which is just a fraction of the $12 billion backlog nationally. Archuleta was among witnesses at a Senate hearing yesterday that grappled with the problem of aging and worn park facilities, like the Grand Canyon's main water pipeline. The pipeline was built in the 1960s and it was supposed to last 40 years. And so as you can see, it's uh, way behind its, its time in terms of being fixed and uh, being reconstructed. While witnesses and senators both recognized the problem, few had answers. But one senator said park users should be part of the solution. If we really care about this issue, we should consider user fees to apply to all those to whom they ordinarily apply. The Louisiana senator worried that funds to fix the nation's parks might be taken from deserving projects in Gulf Coast communities. I'm a little bit, what's the word, uh, less convinced about crocodile tears for our parks when people will not assess appropriate user fees those using those parks to defray this expense. Witnesses offered some possible solutions, including public-private partnerships. And Archuleta proposed extending the season on the canyon's north rim to bring in more revenue. But she says her message to Washington is that the federal government has a responsibility as well as local supporters. My goal is to make sure that the federal government uh, meets its responsibility in maintaining our parks. In Washington, Julian Paras, Cronkite News. The $12 billion parks backlog is just part of the state funding shortfall lawmakers were looking at. The tab exceeds $19.4 billion once lands controlled by the Bureau of Land Management. The Forest Service and the Fish and Wildlife Service are also included.